have to put label. So I'm gonna label this B. I'm gonna put this arrow towards that. Okay. Then take the cellophane tape and we go over to the ticket tape. All right. So sorry for that just now. So let this B go through here. Pass through this. Come up to the trolley. Put the cellophane tape there. Okay. So we're ready. So switch on the power supply. this down to let it flow down. Okay, switch off the power supply. Take out the tape. Okay, so what I have right now is the values. So because my thicker tape is not very obvious, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do dots. So first and foremost, I'm not going to take all this because this is the beginning part. So it's considered as not very consistent. So I'm going to skip a few values and I'm going to start with this particular dot. Okay, so I'm just going to dot. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a line on the first dot. Make sure it's 90 degrees because we're going to cut that later on. Okay, so I'm going to draw this line. Okay, so I need 10 ticks. 10 ticks means 11 dots. So to simplify my work, I'm going to start counting from the first one here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is my 10th dot. I'm just going to take the ruler. Again, I'm just going to draw the line here and I write label number one. Okay, so I know this is my first trip. Okay, so please continue on again. Not counting this, not counting this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So on the tenth again. I draw a line and I label this as my number two strip number two so we have to finish all the way okay okay so I have already dotted my lines and I have nine strips all the way until here so you can see this is actually where the thicker tape stops because the values suddenly become very close together so i have nine strips over here total nine strips so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut off my strips and uh, i'm going to cut them off and keep it aside so let's let me show you how i'm going to cut this off i'm going to cut this off at a line here and make sure you put a container or make sure the fan is not moving much or else it's going to fly all over the place. So I'm going to put my pointer here. Okay, so this is my strip number 9. I'm going to cut this. Okay. So I know this video is going to be a little bit long. But I need to teach you guys how to take the readings of the strip so that we can save a little bit of time in class. This is number 7. Six. strips over here okay, I'm gonna, my ruler. I'm gonna put my ruler away okay so what I'm gonna do next is again make sure this is secure there take a graph paper okay draw our axis what I'm gonna do here this is normally where I stop Um, we're supposed to be using a pencil so I'm using a pen okay so this is the length 
which is going to be in cm. This is zero. Okay, so here would be my number of strips. Okay, so this is 2 cm, so I'm going to label this 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 cm, 12 cm, 14 cm, 16 cm, 18 cm, and 20 cm. We have to use the whole entire graph. Huh? Alright, so I'm going to take my number 1. Okay, I'm going to take my number 1. Use the glue. Please get some more expensive glue, don't use the cheaper ones uh. Because if you use the cheaper ones or you use the glue sticks, those that rolls on uh, I find that it will dry off the glue very fast and then so later on you will have problem trying to stick them Okay, so this is my number one All Right, um, because I did my number like that, so I obviously know this is the beginning Right, this part is the beginning because my number one, I wrote it like this Okay so I put my number one like this, okay, and I'm gonna stick this here exactly at the line like this. Okay, that's the main reason why I'm actually doing this video because I want all of you to see how I'm doing it so you guys will be able to do it at home. So I'm gonna take the second one, one for my number two, okay, again. Alright, again, number two, like this. Okay, this is my number two. Okay, and I'm gonna stick it beside the number one again. Okay, so this is how it will look like. My strip will start here. Okay, my strip will start here. So, stick the rest of it. Okay, stick the rest of the strip over. Okay, alright, I know it's gonna be a weird for you guys because I was sticking number two just now and now suddenly I have all up here so I'm using a video recording right now so I don't want you guys to watch the video too long so I had to pause and then I have to glue and get my graph ready. So I've already pasted all nine of my graph here. Okay, as you can see. Alright, so over to the side. You can see that I labeled all this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And my value, if you can see all this down here, is all placed here. So, this is how I want you guys to actually paste your readings. Alright, one benefit is that we are placing this on graph is because the graph already have the scale. So, if I want to get the reading of one strip, okay, I can directly take that reading over there. Or if you don't want, you can actually still use your ruler. But by sticking it this way, it will be very obvious. And you can see that the readings of the graph should be going up like this. If all of you follow my instruction when I ask you to do the experiment in the next class. Alright, so this video is up to here. This is what you need to do before you come to the class. Alright, for our next lesson. Alright, till then, bye.